Good evening, messenger. You convinced us that you were the last messenger. How many other bastard children do you have? 15 to be exact. And what a coincidence. I'm doing a video on Dr. York and the preview is Elijah Muhammad. Let's jump into this. Don't forget to click the link. Click the link in the description below and feel free to watch. the. the I think it's the greatest short film on earth. You know, we've been invited to oof, close over 15 film or just at 15 film festivals. And the film has only been out 35 days, 37 days. So uh, thank you guys in advance for supporting the film and uh, go ahead and click the link and download it, man. But um, I ran across appreciate to my boy G man for uh, helping me find this. Uh, Mark Lamont Hill still calls Dr. York pops. And he even said it when in competition with Dr. York's son. I'm going to play the clip and we're going to have a conversation. Questions but, but we can tell, but we can also come back and talk. I, I, and any new idea want to build me on on this particular I issue? Need Prince Young for you. You that, sure that's a good idea? I, he want Prince Young. I, 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 he, Prince, he York, me. Prince York won't do this. I, I promise you, he won't. It was difficult for me, <laughs> right? And I wasn't there. I was just reading stuff. Well, it works out because he wasn't either. <laughs> so and there's no disrespect. Because I don't know issue of Prince York. He's too young. He's, He's just too young, young to, have, too been young to have, been have been there. He was alive when Pops right. was was arrested. Right. But but. He wasn't around. Right. He, he wasn't around. Right. In that. You know why this is disturbing? Because he's bragging to, to the son of Dr. York. I know my dad better than you. He wasn't there when he was giving out those lectures. He wasn't there. I was his best son. I was his best age, his, his best uh, follower. That's why I still call him Pops. This is this is disturbing. This taps into I am a follower. This taps into I need a leader in my life. I need a God in my life. This taps into all of that. Now, we're going to get into him keeping it a secret for five years, not going to the authorities because he said he saw it at the age of 17. But we're going to talk about that in a later video. But I want to talk about the conscience of a man. This is why. Men hit women and men don't hold that man accountable, beat his ass and, and send him to the authorities. This is why we have pedophilia in our community, because of men like Mark Lamont. I don't know if Mark, I don't know his history. I don't know his background too well. But when you call a man who's molested over 200 kids and giving them a sexually transmitted disease and mentally corrupt them and you have the nerve to call him pops and you're not connected to his bloodline mark lamont is off he's a sick man don't let all those degrees fool you and uh um please don't please don't that's a cover-up this is the same man that um said michael mex was gay this is the same man that said that that Dylan Roof don't deserve the death penalty. He's a confused man. He's like him and Nick Cannon are in the same boat. Thinking that this information gives them freedom. This information makes them a leader. No, they're sick. They're some, I mean, I mean, they're dangerous. Because you know what happens? Because they born black, they got a little bit of drip, they got a little bit of melanin, a little bit of swag, a little bit of sauce. And it fools people because Mark Lamont always walks in into the room when he's not in his suit and Jordans and and he has uh, uh, messages on his shirts or in his sweaters. And he tr and he fools you when you want to hunt 25th Street. But he doesn't live that life. He has a white... 
he has an Indian boss or something like that, a, a non-black boss, and he gets an and he is not in charge of his life. He has to echo what they tell him to echo. And I think it's very, very important that we understand the sickness in these men. This, these, these are sick men. He's literally in an interview and still 20 years, 16 years later, in competition with Dr. York's son, in competition with him. I'm the better son. It's a problem. This is a real big problem because he didn't tell on Dr. York. And you know why he didn't tell on Dr. York? Because he's calling him Pop 21 Pops 21 years later. This is the same reason why in the 50s and the 60s, the Nation of Islam followers didn't tell on Elijah Muhammad. They still follow him as if he's a leader. This is why Brother Polite says he was talking to a victim of Dr. York and still says he is my leader. And then years later, we found out he's he has he has DNA semen on another girl. I, I, I can't even it bothers me to even say something like that. These are the sick individuals, man. And, 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 and when we have honest conversations with, with each other, we see it. Watch in the comment section. Men are going to defend him. Don't respond. Just know who they are. People are going to defend Elijah Muhammad. When I have people in the house who said who lived in the house and slept in the house, Ate in the house, served in the house, said they saw him with underage girls having relationships. Farrakhan knows about it. Farrakhan admitted to it on 60 Minutes, and men still follow him. That's the sickness we have in our community. That's the sickness we have as men. Dare I say black men? Farrakhan admits to it. You follow Farrakhan. And we got to protect black women. So I can trust you to protect my daughter. Mark Lamar Hill still calls a man that's to over 200 kids. And he still has the nerve to call him pops. And he's not even physically related to him. What, he met him when he was 17, 18, 19 years old, as he said? He was a late teen? Man. Man. He was in college. And he still didn't tell on doctor. We're going to talk about that in another video. But I, I just think it's just incredibly, incredibly important that, that, uh, that we have these honest conversations, man. And, and you want to watch an honest film? Nine Wives, Honest Film. I encourage everyone to watch it. Click the link below. It's spreading like wildfire. <laughs> and uh, like I've been saying, it's awful that uh, that um, we got to debate this. We got to blame the woman for a man's behavior. We got to blame the 14 year old victim for a man's behavior. She shouldn't have been there. So who convinced her to be there? <laughs> we got to get rid of this sickness in our community. You know, and this pedophilia when, and I'm going to do a video on this too, about the symptoms. Men come home from jail. It's not every man. Many men come home from jail, doing time in jail. 
And because they have time on their hands in prison, they do a lot of reading, do a lot of research. And they've tapped into their higher self. But when the lights go out in prison, they have a boyfriend. And when they get out of prison, their rules have changed on masculinity. And then they become part of a conscious community. I don't know if it's in New York, Chicago, L.A., Baton Rouge. So now they think being with boys is okay. Being with girls is okay. I'm under the no snitch policy if I know a person who does it. You get what I'm saying? These are conversations we've never had that I've never seen online before. And then the cycle gets repetitive and repetitive and repetitive. And then Mark Lamont Hill is confident enough to still call a man like this Pops and he's not physically related to the man. He wants to outdo his son. We want, to, we want to talk about masculinity, right? We want to talk about manhood, right? That's what we want, right? <laughs> That's what we really want. Do we really want men to be men or we want men to be followers? Do we want men to be robots? We'll never tap into our higher self if we're still calling a man like him Pops. Mark Lamont Hill is a fraud. He's calling a man like him Pops. Doesn't he have a biological father and a biological mother? I wonder what he calls his biological father or his biological mother. Barbershop conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Go get Nine Wives. As you can see, it's an award-winning film. It will be up on the wall. So, uh, Nine Wives is going to change history books, y'all. When I'm long and gone. Nine wise will be in college courses and high school classrooms for sure. Guarantee you that. It's going to change history. One movie at a time. One movie at a time. Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Click the link below. Thank you.